A couple years ago, my wife and kids went somewhere, or probably down to the beach house or something. They went on a trip and they were gone for a few days. And my loving, beautiful, amazing, lovely lady, Lauren, she, in her infinite graciousness, she cooked homemade meals for me while they were going to be gone. Several meals, because they were going to be gone several days. And I thanked her for them and said, oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, man, I'm, I'm going to be set. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of me, even while you're gone. You're, you're such a good wife. I love you so much. She's like, oh, you're welcome. I love you too. Blah, 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 whatever. Gets in the car and leaves. I go to the fridge. I look at the meals. And while they look and smell and sound delicious, my brain in that moment says, I don't want to eat those. I want Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits. So what does Deustin do? Does he give in to temptation or does he take the way of escape? The 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says, no, he gives in to temptation and he gives in hard. He gets in his vehicle and drives to Red Lobster and buys 24 Cheddar Bay Biscuits. And you know what he eats for the next four days? Nothing but 24 Cheddar Bay Biscuits. <laughs> I just survived on Cheddar Bay Biscuits for four days and uh, did not eat any of the meals that she had prepared. <laughs> when she returned, she was not amused with the two giant trays of biscuits that I had purchased and consumed all by myself. She was, she was quite upset with me. And rightfully so. But they were really good. 